guys, Roxy Sims here, and welcome to Speed Build Saturday that we're doing on a Sunday. <laughs> it's been a crazy week, you guys. More on that later, though. Today, we are building the Foxbury Dorms, specifically Briny Tower. Of course, I'm going for a more modern look with this to match the whole Foxbury campus, and I'm trying to go for the same colors of um, wallpaper that are on the outside of the rest of the building. Also, all the other buildings around this place kind of have a funky shape, so I wanted to just make it fit into the place, make it fit into the entire campus. And then with the actual dorms themselves, I tried to put in a variety, so different... Mm, decoration styles, different kind of quality of rooms because uh, I have like a party dorm and it's got like holes in the wall, stains on the carpet, that kind of thing. And I just tried to make it seem like there are a lot of different personalities staying in this place. I also tried to make the personalities very apparent. So like you could look at the dorm and kind of tell what kind of sim lives there. When building these dorms, the one thing that I wish we could do is I wish we could change the wood tone and the fabric of a piece of furniture separately because what I really wanted is that they had the same furniture, like all the same furniture types. Do you get what I'm saying? And then each person has a different bedspread or something. That would make it more realistic to me and I would be really happy about that. But unfortunately, we can't do that. So I... Instead of doing that, um, I was able to at least keep the furniture the same in each room. So that's my solution. It would be better the other way, though. <laughs> so the crazy week I mentioned earlier. Okay, well, actually, a lot of crazy things happened to me this week. But the thing that really topped the cake was I was trying to be a very responsible adult. And I thought, hey, I'll do some dishes, you know, before I go to bed. I'll do the dinner dishes. So I turn the faucet. It's one of the swivel kinds. I turn it and it almost comes off completely in my hand. And water then pours. It starts pouring out everywhere, all of the counters on the floor, um, into my newly drywalled basement. And under the sink, um, in the cabinet under there, and I have, like, like, a, my whole entire life's collection of, uh, cleaning products under there, so I had to take all of those out, I had to dry everything everywhere. I was up forever <laughs> trying to dry all that stuff. That's why this video is coming a day later, because instead of finishing up this video, uh, doing the voiceover for it, I instead, after work, had to go pick out a new faucet and help install it. My husband and I installed it ourselves. And, and then after that, after like the night before, not barely sleeping at all, and all of that excitement, quote unquote excitement, um, I, I just passed out. I had no energy left in me to finish this video. So I was like, I gotta, I have got to postpone it. And uh, it, I feel so much better after a really good night's sleep. It was so much like The Sims. So, you know, in The Sims, well, I'll, I'll just put up a picture. This happens, and I didn't think that was actually very realistic until it happened to me. It actually is very realistic. The only thing not realistic about that scenario is that I did not use a wrench on the drain to actually fix the sink. The wrench was, you know, under the sink. <laughs> but everything else, pretty realistic. I think that I got most of the water enough to where everything was pretty unscathed. We will see if the water ends up buckling my wood floors. I, I hope not. I think I caught it in time. Thank goodness that it was actually there when it happened because you could you imagine? Let's say it just decided to start like really leaking in the middle of the night and just went all night with no one knowing about it. It could have been so much worse. So I am thankful for that. And I, I lost some sanity that night. But I got a really pretty new <laughs> kitchen faucet out of it. So, you know, pretty fair deal. Have you guys seen the trailer for the new werewolves pack? I'm so excited. I'm not super excited about the actual werewolves, although I am more excited than I expect to be. But I'm not super excited because of the werewolves, because I, I don't really use the occult very much in the game. But the build by stuff looks amazing. It's like industrial grungy type of stuff. I love building rundown builds. 
this is gonna help with that so much and industrial is one of my absolute favorite styles like ways of building so i can't wait it's hard to know just yet but if you have any ideas of things that you would like for me to build in this new world that we're getting let me know in the comments and i'm going to make a plan as soon as i see all the lots i will make a plan for all of them so i can't wait the new world will be called Moonwood Mill, by the way. It's like an abandoned mill town. So, yeah. And they said something about underground builds. I don't know if that means that they've just built stuff underground or if the lot specifically is underground. I have no idea what that means. I'm going to guess it's the first one, but I don't know. I, I'm excited to learn more about it. And there's like apparently underground tunnels. I don't know. We'll see. The live stream is going to be on the 10th. Yeah, so June 10th is the live stream. I'm sure we'll know a lot more at that point. Well, guys, we are almost finished with this build. I just want to thank you so, so much for watching. It really means the world to me. As always, this build will be uploaded to the gallery, so you can download it from there. Or if you need the trade files, you can get those from my Patreon page, which I will have linked down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It really, really helps. And I will talk to you all again next Saturday. Bye, everybody.